Hi everyone, in this video I will explain how to control the Onyx playback buttons on the playback buttons grid uh, with a MIDI device while having some feedback on the device. And for that purpose I will use an Ovation Launchpad MK2 and Show Cockpit. To start with you will need to add the elements that you need for this project of course the Onyx element to connect to, to the Onyx software. I will be using the Novation Launchpad MK2 driver and once I enable the device you will see that all the LEDs are already yellow that is the default color for uh, the initialization. Then we, we have an extra an extra element because the buttons uh, the, the playback buttons function does not provide any feedback from Onyx you will need a, a, an extra element to provide this feedback we'll get to that later so to start with you will have to assign the playback button action go action on the first page and the button number is 21 which is this one to your buttons in the Novation Launchpad. So select your buttons and go through all of them. I will use the first eight. So if you now click on these buttons, you will see that the function is already being triggered in, in Onyx because the queue lists are being correctly activated. The thing is that this layout is really dull. So everything is yellow, you don't have any feedback, so it's, it's not really it's not really useful right so in order to get some feedback uh, we will need we can start by assigning the the colors okay so I will edit the initialization color and I'll clean all the buttons that I'm not using okay so it's now a lot cleaner I, I only have the buttons that I will be using and then for the off color I will select a color that matches the queue list I'm, I'm uh, triggering. So cyan, and then we have magenta, and then yellow, red is already there, green, blue, and uh, lighter green, something like this maybe. Okay. Let's clean this off. Okay, and now for the on color, I will select a flashing black for these buttons. Okay, now if we go back to live, it's still dull because you can see on element screen that when you trigger these buttons, you see a control event here you'll see a function being triggered on Onyx but you don't see any feedback coming coming back from Onyx that's why we need this extra element let's enable it and now we will map the, exactly the same pads to a different function in buttons feedback so we will be triggering uh, this function with these parameters what you have to make sure is that each button has a different ID and buttons that you want to group together must belong to the same group number of course so you can now map all of your pads up to eight okay and now you can see that for example pad number one is triggering the playback button in onyx and also this function of this special element and now if we click on it you will see that you are triggering now the functions in onyx but also a function in this element and the feedback is coming from this element so whenever you click one of these buttons, you not only you are triggering Onyx, but you also are receiving feedback. And the feedback is now according to what we selected on our Novation Launchpad MK2 window. And that's it uh, for this tutorial. So this is actu actually how you can achieve uh, playback buttons in Onyx triggering while having some feedback. Uh, of course this is a very specific use case you might have different controllers this should also work for 
other type of controllers that you have uh, and also not only for onyx but for other softwares as well for any function that does not provide um, that does not provide any feedback so I'll, st I'll end by saying that if you enjoy this video you you can visit us at showcockpit.com there's plenty of information there's a new page called academy with how to's tutorials that you can check uh, and learn new things about show cockpit and of course we have a very cool community on facebook so you are welcome to join this community if you enjoy show cockpit to share ideas share your knowledge uh, get help and of course also give suggestions uh, that's how we are improving uh, every week so thank you very much for for watching this video and see you on the next one